In this screencast, we're going to be looking at the different ways in which you can access your child's report. The first way is via the Patterner homepage. So if you go to www.patterner.ac.th, you'll see there's a link for parents. When you click on that link, it will take you to the Parents Gateway login page. So I'm just going to put my Parents Gateway username and password to click login. Click this. Sometimes this pops up. When it does, you just click this link and it takes you to the home page, the Parents Gateway homepage. Underneath your children, you'll see a list of the children if you have more than one. I've obviously got three. So I'm going to click here. And I, when I click on Tamwa, it will take me to the profile of Tamwa. Lots of useful information on here, attendance, uh, some feedback, and the timetable. One of the bits of information on here is reports. Currently, we haven't released any reports for this term. So if we do, when we do at the end of this term, then you'll see the term one report for 2019-20. So I'm just going to click on here and have a look at the historical reports that we've released to the profile. When I click on this icon, it will, or this link, it will take me to the PDF document of the report. And then you can download it and print it if you wish to do so. So clicking on that will take me to the report. Here you can see I've got the report. I've minimized it because obviously it contains sensitive information about Tamwa. So that's the first way accessing via the parents gateway via the web. There is another way and the other way are via the apps that we have available. So I'm just going to show you uh, how to use the apps, the iParent apps. The first one we're going to look at is using an iPhone. So here you can see I've got, uh, I've downloaded the iSAMS iParent app. So if I wanted to find that, obviously I just go to the store and if you search for iParent, then you should find, if I click on iParent app, it's like an orange icon. So it's iSAMS iParent. So I've downloaded that and it's here and it's asking for a school code. The school code for both the Android and the iPhone app is PAT, so it's capital P, capital A, capital T, and then click check school code. And you should see that that will verify, so it says valid, and then it will open up the username and password. So this again is the same username and password. So mine, if I just click, it's T A Y L, doesn't matter about the whether or not it's capitals and the password. I'm just going to move this off the screen whilst I put my password in there. And back down to here so that you can see it. And I'm just going to click on Remember Me, which makes it easier because then I can use my fingerprint if your phone supports that. Uh, I'm actually going to click Notifications as well. And you can see here we've got the calendar now down on the bottom, let me just click this screen here, you can see it says my children at the bottom. So I'm going to click my children, go to Tanwa again, and we've got information about Tanwa. And one of those icons says reports. And there you can see there's a list of the reports. I'm not going to click on this one because it will contain uh, sensitive information, but the PDF is available there for you to then download a print or share. Okay, so that one is how, what it looks like on an iPhone, on an Android. It's exactly the same, school code PAT, username and password. And if I enlarge this so that you can see it, when we go to the home page on an Android device uh, under the dashboard, then you can see you've got icons down here. And one of the icons looks like this, uh, my children. And again, Tamwa, and it's pretty much the same thing. And we've got reports and we can see a list of the reports that are available. So those are the two ways. One is via the app and the other one is via the web page. I hope you found that useful.